Next question is from Gabs is rad. What are some ways to deal with relationship stress while quarantined with your partner? Oh, have mm-hmm. you guys seen the statistics on this? <laughs> I don't need to. I already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think feel everyone, this already. It's <laughs> fine. Yeah, it's, I, I think it, it's just a universal thing right now with with couples and relationships. It's this is that added element that like exterior element that you know has has sort of created even more tension. Oh yeah, I you know and it's funny. I don't think it's so much that you're just around each other all the time. This is what people are saying. Like, oh. We're around each other all the time. Therefore, you know, we're, we're having a lot more problems. I don't think it's as much, uh, it's that much of that. I think it's more that there's a lot of stress and anxiety and fear that's happening right now because I could be locked. I could be in a hotel room with Jessica on a Hawaii vacation, be around each other all the time, and we're not getting in, you know, lots of fights. But, you know, right now it's just a lot more stress that's going on. And so how you handle yourself uh, under stress is really what, 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 contributes to this, there's some self-awareness that has to go around. Like, are you actually maybe being more of an asshole yourself? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. You can't control the other person. This is the most difficult thing. It's super easy when you're with someone and you're getting in arguments and you're getting on each other's nerves. It's super easy for you to look at them and say, that's what they're doing. They're in a bad mood. They're irritable. They're snapping at me. they're, They're criticizing me. And that all might be absolutely true, but because you can't control that, I think you're better off looking at yourself and saying, okay, how am I contributing to this? Am I less patient? Mm -hmm. Am I less kind? Am I being the one that maybe is taking things a little bit differently? We all have a, you know, we all have a, a, a filter that we receive information through and that filter can make a comment seem negative or neutral, you know, um, you know, let's say Adam and I are roommates and I have this negative filter about him and he calls me up and he's like, hey, um, hey, we're out of we're out of bacon. And my negative filter might be like this fucker, you know, he's telling me I forgot the bacon. He's trying to remind me that I keep forgetting to buy the bacon. Now, if I have a neutral filter or a happy filter, I might just be thinking, oh, he's just telling me that we're out of bacon. Hey, just in case you go to the store. So that makes a really, really big difference. So I, I, this is true whether you're working with your partner or your business partner. Like you got to look at yourself and see how you're contributing because that doesn't mean that that doesn't diminish the fact that maybe your partner's doing certain things, but it's really the only thing you can control. Uh, I'm going to default to uh, the book Love Languages and being proactive. So this is actually in my notes right, right now. So I better get on my ass and do this before this episode goes live or I'll look like a punk if Katrina listens to this first. Uh, and that is understanding that you know one of the things that happens with couples a lot of times when they get stressed out uh, in any situation is sometimes you feel like you're doing things that that should make that your partner happy or should make them feel loved but in reality you're doing the things that are like related to your love language and not hers or his and I have a, a habit of this you know I I know the things that you know I monetary things I like to buy things as as gifts to Katrina I mean I could uh, buy her a Range Rover and get a thank you. I could sit down and write her a card about how amazing she is to me, and she'll cry and share it with you know ten of her family members. So remembering that is so important. I have to remember that you know that that big action of what I think is love by buying her something that's cool or what I think is amazing isn't necessarily her love language. But taking the time to sit down and write her a card about how I feel about our relationship or how much I value her as a person goes so far. So, you know, I, I would urge whoever this is that's asking this question to dive into your partner's love language and what is it that that they, that makes them feel loved and feel good and be proactive about situations instead of allowing you to miss in that opportunity and then allowing outside stresses to cause stress on mm-hmm. your relationship. So think about that. Think about the things that make her or him loved and and that you know you can do. And many times, you know, at least in my experience, they aren't massive things. They're little things. They're those little things that that show that you care. And that goes a long ways uh, when when you guys are dealing with so much stress. So that's in my own personal notes to be on top of that mm. today. So I, I think that makes a world of a difference. Yeah, totally. I could echo all those sentiments. Also, I think something that's really helped uh, Courtney and I at the end of the night, and I know some of these uh, other gurus out there will, will really promote this whole gratitude uh, journaling and, and just really like centering your mindset around uh, what is going well and what things you're grateful for and thankful for and things that are happening that uh, 
you know, you can really focus your energy more on those things, which then help to kind of promote a more positive uh, environment around and uh, two, to close out your day so you don't have these running thoughts about, uh, you know, certain things that have irritated you about uh, the other person or like things in the way that just keeps spinning and spinning and it just it grows into something that's bigger than what it should have been. It's like closing that loop with something positive has really been helpful. I like that a lot because I think if you agree, especially if you're not fighting, right, you're like everybody's level-headed and you can say, okay, let's every night – Let's let's talk about what we're grateful for, regardless of what happens. I think that's good because it makes you feel more secure. I think one of the challenges sometimes when you're—I don't care who you're dealing with—when you're having struggles—is are you do you feel totally secure with that person? Like if I argue with my my parents, I don't think in the back of my mind like my parents are going to disown me. I know they won't. Like I know I'm secure there, so we could focus on really the issue at hand. But if you argue with someone that you don't necessarily feel secure with. Then it becomes not just uh, the situation at hand. It becomes like, oh my gosh, what does this mean about the rest of us? Uh, and so I think that gratitude, what you just said, Justin, I think that could be really, really effective. 